Where are we at? Moe's. Why? Because uh, we want to eat some great uh, southwestern food. Great southwestern food. Great southwestern food. Family. What do you got in your book bag there? Weapons of mass destruction. And a shitload of drugs. <laughs> It is Friday, October 7th, 2011. I'm wearing a Gears of War 3 shirt today because I'm a boss and I always wear that. And uh, the eyebrow, this is Everyday Blogger. By buying Playboys and Hustlers and scanning the images and just putting them on the internet. Yeah. Completely against copyright, but no one had copyright laws back then. Yeah. And they would give people accounts and say, and they would take magazines of all these weird, perverted sex things. Everything was in a magazine back then. Yeah. And they were just scanning everything and then putting them on the internet for the first time. And then selling people, charging people, you know, $9.99 a month to view the images. Yeah. And that's how they started making millions of dollars. That's all they did. Yeah. Before they started making their own content and going in and, you know, going to strip clubs and taking pictures of people. And, getting models and all that kind of crap. Yeah. But I mean, they just were basically saying, oh, yeah, yeah. Shh. They, mm -hmm. even, they weren't even taking their own pictures. The guy was in there like at one point, he's like, well, maybe we need to go buy some new magazines. I think we need some new content. I mean, they're just ripping it right off and just mm -hmm. putting it on the internet. Nobody was paying any attention. Yeah. Nobody cared. So. It was easier to become a billionaire. <sighs> well, back then. In case you missed the beginning of the conversation, that's how the porn industry actually started. <laughs> According to this movie. According to whatever movie. See, oh my, you know, this is, this is really, this screen looks a lot bigger than yours. Do you see that? Every time I get something, I have to get something better. <laughs> That's so not true. It's not. If your girlfriend, if your ex-girlfriend hadn't destroyed my camera, I wouldn't have needed to spend another <laughs> 350 bucks. She watches these. Right? You owe it to me. <laughs> she watches these. Well, I'm good. <laughs> Elena. <laughs> Where's my cord? Hey, we're outside of Dunkin' Donuts. Wait a second. It's nice. It's nice. Fuck big brother, man. <laughs> Way to stick it. Sit outside his table. With this. <laughs> I bet you if some someone like actually noticed that, uh, they'll like kick us out. Because we gotta buy something from here. You always got something to say about Starbucks. What Starbucks? I about everything though. <laughs> everything. Fuck this printer. Fuck, Fuck this printer. printer. <laughs> I can be your new mind. <laughs> Fuck, this. Is <laughs> Fuck this blank. That's my new one. Alright. And hey yo dog. Hey yo dog. Hey yo dog. What's yours? I have you down. Uh, the, uh, I have down. Outside of Starbucks oh. and shit dog. Yeah. My Dunkin' Donuts. Well vlogging while driving and vlogging with rapist glasses. <laughs> I guess that's uh something. Oh, they missed it. I wore his rapist glasses last night. You wore his rapist glasses? Or my rapist oh, glasses? Yours. You wore my rapist glasses? I took it off your head. Do you not remember? I don't think I remember that I one. Remember that. Sorry. I remember that specifically. <laughs> you were like, oh, look, you're a raper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you vlog that at all? No, I don't vlog that. Unfortunately. Oh, look, you're a raper. <laughs> and then I, I told you about the. Can girls really, how do girls get charged with rape? I want to know. Not, oh, yeah. I, I'm kind of curious, like, what do they have to do? Yes, that is a question, people. Well, then. That is something to answer. How do girls get charged with rape, and what do they do? And how does that come about? Let us know. For all of you victims out there, just, you know, just let us know. 1-800-ASK-GREG. 1-800-ASK-GREG. <laughs> I mean, answer, Greg. <laughs> Okay, Moe's freaking Southwest Grill. I got a burrito. All right, I usually eat Taco Bell burritos, so I'm not really used to uh, real burritos from actual restaurants. So let's see how that is. And wow, this is a pretty badass looking fountain right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, let's go freaking try it. All right, so they give you some like tortilla chips in there or something. And then here's the freaking burrito. Oh my gosh. 
Let's just see how good it is, huh? Shall we? Wow. 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 This is good. This is good. Oh, hey. Sweet tea from Dr. Dillard. My eyes are tearing. Because of the hot sauce that I put into it. Oh my god. Mm, it sounds so good. I you know that fire is going to come out of my asshole later, not today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yes. Fall in. Mm. It was good. You know, I noticed like a little sauce that was like right there in my mouth from the last clip. I'm sorry. I know that probably bothered some of you, but you know, truth is it bothered me too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to work now because it's getting towards that time. So. See you afterwards. Oh, hey there. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, good. Good. Oh, loud. It's dark. It's dark. Can you guys see me now? I don't know if you can. I'll see you in a second, but I just got off work. It's 12.30. Open. Open gate. Just freaking open. Yeah, that's right. You better open. Mm, Emily's little nice community. Guys, you know, I'm gonna apologize right now for Emily not really uh, doing anything today. But it's okay, because there really was nothing to be done today. So, I understand. And I know you guys are forgiving too. And it's probably really dark, so what am I doing? I'm gonna put on the lights and put my seatbelts on. And I hope, hopefully you can like see me maybe? Can you see me? Good. Because uh, I do have rapist glasses on, thank you. Yeah, so this is pretty insane uh, today in general. It was just... A wacky work day. I can't see anything. I'm probably gonna die right now. If I do, um, I'm sorry. Nothing. Alright. I mean, because I have my lights on, I can't really see outside because I got tint on. Because I'm just vlogging for you guys. Vlogging while driving. Vlogging while almost dying. That's right. Professional vlogger here. Honestly, I had a really, really extremely long, 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 long day of work. So, just want to let you guys know. And there was this drunk lady there, okay? And she was talking to me for so freaking long, like just about serving or something. Like, she's like, oh, I, I've served for 30 years, and, you know, like, I was the best at it, and I like your sarcasm. You're cute. You know, she gave me a little slap on the butt, and I was just like, lady, you're crazy. <laughs> I mean, don't you, do you not see the rapist glasses? I mean, I'm cute. But anyways, today, I really feel like it's just poopy. And do not kill me. I swear to God, if you kill me, I will murder you. That doesn't make any sense. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, we're gonna get to my house, like, right here. Alright? Let's go. Whoa! Boom! You there? Sorry, man. Okay. Let me take my rapist glasses off for you. Put them down right there. Okay. <sighs> Guys, you see this? You see what that is? 127. That means that it is already Saturday, October 8th, 2011. But it's still the October 7th vlog. It's still, I'm still awake. It's still today. It's not tomorrow. I don't care. Today is always today, actually. So, you know, am I making sense at all? I don't know. I'm just, today was crazy, guys. You know? Say hello to Tabuscus. 
the plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkness and redness and whiteness and yeah. Okay, I'm just guys. I'm exhausted today. Uh, wow. Tomorrow I have to work all day. So instead of you guys seeing a short vlog, Dalton's working too, of course, and so is Chelsea. You guys are gonna see Emily. Uh. I think she's going to be doing something uh, pretty interesting, so stay tuned for that. Thank you to all the true fans who are actually still with us. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Can you guys, somebody please, give me light to the situation that's going on on YouTube. Does nobody want to see us anymore? I know you're tired of us complaining, or me complaining, personally, about the low view count. Meh, 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 I'm a bitch, meh, meh, just watch my stuff. <laughs> but seriously, what's going on, people, is that... Video not getting to your subscription boxes. Did 500 people decide, hey, I don't want to watch these guys anymore. What happened? Is it the event? I think that the event is an awesome thing. And it's something that if, you know, if you guys obviously have to help us, like we do need your help. And if people could just get together, like YouTube is supposed to be a community thing, right? Well, if we can get together and get this Congo thing out there, think about what other things we can do. Come on. This is just step one and something that we can do to change basically the world, who knows? But, uh, I don't know, there's just too much, there's too many things in my mind, guys. I'm gonna play Geometry Wars, and um, I think Tony has something to say. <sighs> All right, so before I end this, Tony, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm about to take all those things to the post office. Why? Because I just spent a whole bunch of time labeling them by hand. Why? I hit the road this weekend, man, and there's no printer here, so I had to go buy some to and from address labels. I'm doing all these by hand. Why? I'm looking for some help, getting this thing, getting some publicity, spread the word. Why? Because there is a threat in the Congo, and the threat is based in Eastern Congo. Since 1994, with the genocide in Rwanda, all those armed Hutu rebels who committed the genocide in Rwanda came in Congo. Why? Those rebels from Rwanda are now, since four, five, six years, allied to the government of Kinshasa. Why? They are armed, rearmed, resupplied by the government, our government. Is there anything else? If you're going to send us an address, please include your zip code. I know everyone's used to sending emails these days, but uh, the U.S. Post Office, they work off zip codes. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, but seriously, guys, um, if you guys do want a free copy, uh, we're probably going to get up to, like, 20 people that we're going to give this free copy out to. I think there's about 10 so far. So, I mean, there's 10 left of this documentary, Road to Kunda. Uh, get it while you can. Uh, private message me. Let me know uh, just a name and address. doesn't even have to be your name or your address, but, I mean, come on. It doesn't matter. I mean, send me an address with a fake name, but as long as you can get it, you know? It doesn't matter. Just as long as you can get it. And um, subscribe to Global Point Pro. I will leave that link in the description. You have to subscribe to Global Point Pro to be able to get uh, this documentary. So um, that's going to be it. I love you guys. I'll see you briefly tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoy whatever goes on tomorrow. So <sighs> see you later. Like the video. Favorite it if you must. Dislike if you're the true. That was weird. Peace. Stop it! No! <laughs> No. Uh -oh, no. You're gonna shoot yourself. No. <laughs>